Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Truman Contravention Escalation in Santa Fortuna. And I'm going to be showing you all three levels of Alden Son Assassin, showing you exactly how to do it. So the first level, we have to take out one target with an execution accident kill. The next target is going to have to be a falling object accident kill. So for the loadout, I chose to start in the construction site and uh, everything else is default items. We don't even need to bring the lockpick, but I always bring it just because it's a it's a useful item but not in this escalation because we don't actually use it once so from the very start what we're actually going to do is just avoid that one enforcer there at the start and there's going to the target is going to be heading towards us so now what we're going to do is place a coin basically next to the skull that's on the floor and the whole idea is that is to distract uh, him underneath the crate while that's been happening we're going to shoot that plug over there the socket that's going to distract our second target we ought to be able to shoot the crate there to drop the uh, first crate on the target's head. This guard should be getting distracted now by that uh, socket. Just watch out for this enforcer right here. He will turn his back. We're just going to need to turn on this faucet here. And once we do that, that's going to electrocute our second target. So level one is fairly straightforward, really, uh, as long as you can do it in that sequence. Should be no problem. It's so level two and level three is where things start to get a little bit more uh, more random. And that's where. It, that's where the uh, escalation really gets let down, really, because that kind of spoils it because they introduce an explosion kill. And I'm not really a big fan of explosion accidents because the problem with that is it, it randomizes the NPC's movements and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not a huge fan of the explosion accident kills. So, But I'm going to show you and, I, and guide you through it anyway uh, and try and get around the whole random dust aspect of it. So hopefully you'll be able to follow it nice and simply. But for level 1, fairly straightforward. There's not really any deviation to between uh, replaying this. I did it several times and it was working out exactly the same way. Uh, we are actually taking these targets out exactly the same way for all three levels. So what we do for level 2 is we have an additional target. We have to take him out with an explosion accident. And we can't pacify uh, Argio at Rodriguez, and which, which is the, the foreman. I'm not sure why this is a complication because I don't know why you'd want to take him out. But from the very start, you want to skip the opening cutscene and get into this room as quick as you can. Pull out your pistol and go ahead and shoot this gas canister that's behind the target. That's going to cause panic throughout the entire construction site and everyone's movement is going to be completely random. But uh, everyone's timing is going to be different as well. That's another thing that you need to, uh, to keep an eye on. We are trying to make things as, as uh, easy as possible throughout this entire escalation, which is why I'm going to wait for everyone to calm down before I move on to the next target. So as soon as the, the uh, our target himself has calmed down, which you'll know by him walking normally and going back into his regular routine, we're going to place the coin next to that skull here, just like I did in the previous level, just like we would. So that's set up for the uh, second target's accident. So he should see that coin on the floor and uh, that will present us the opportunity to shoot the crate on top of his head. So that will be two out of three. The next one is obviously the electrocution one, but our target is over there. He could be in a different position for you, uh, depending on how he reacted to the explosion at the start. So we're going to be a lot more patient. I'm just going to wait for him to uh, just go back to his normal routine because this is what this is what the problem is with the, with the explosions. NPCs can react differently. Sometimes the target he can himself can be over here dragging the body away. And that's the, the annoying aspect about the explosions, really. This is why I don't tend to use them on guides or anything like that, because it's just it's just too random to uh, have a consistent strategy around, you know. This is the re for this reason, because we have to use an explosion. You could use a breaching charge and knock out the target if you really wanted to, but that's a lot of hassle, and I can't guarantee everyone's going to have the breaching charge to have the legacy pack. So this is the reason why I'm going to go with the standard... Uh, one shot accident kills that are going around this whole construction site obviously it was going to do this but uh like i said the guard should be going back to his routine right now another person you need to watch out is for that guy over there sometimes he can look in this direction what we could have done in the meantime as well is picked up the screwdriver that's literally right next to us and unscrewed this uh, plug rather than shooting it because sometimes when you shoot it it has a weird hitbox and doesn't actually detect properly if you know what i mean but we need to make sure this guy is not looking at us before we turn the faucet on. But once we've done that, and it actually fills up the area, he will get electrocuted. And that's the third and final accident kill taken care of. All we've got to do now is just avoid any enforcers on the way out. 
grab the spade. I'm just going to throw in the... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to head straight to the exit now. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> just thought it was funny. But once we've headed to the exit there, this is a nice easy silent assassin for level 2. But like I said, uh, really, we've just got to wait for everyone to calm down after the explosion before we, before we move on to the next kills, you know what I mean? Because uh, if we try and do it around the whole thing, it's just really not going to work out. It's not going to be consistent. And that's the reason why I did it this way. It may take a little bit longer, but um, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But uh, level 3 is where it gets a little bit more annoying because we have to wait around a little bit more. And uh, you'll see what I mean. So for level 3, the final level of this escalation, we have to take out the foreman. But we have to take him out with a cement mixer. So everything else is exactly the same, but that is the added complication. No equipment is going to be changed, so it's all going to be exactly the same. From the very start, we are actually going to go into this building over here straight away, just like we did in the previous level. Shoot out this gas canister. Just shoot it twice. And again, everyone's going to react to the explosion accident, and everyone's going to be running around randomly. And that's like I said in the previous level, we just need to wait for everyone to calm down. I'm going to grab this screwdriver, like I mentioned in the previous level, and actually unscrew this plug to avoid the problem of the, uh, the hitbox thing what I was mentioning before about the plug because sometimes you can shoot it and sometimes it just won't even spark and it will and I don't know why that happens but uh, we've taken care of that before it's even become an issue so the foreman is there right there in the background he will go go in front of the cement mixer but you just need to uh, be patient for that the first target underneath this uh, crate you need to wait for him to go back to his normal routine like I said and uh, place the coin there and then you can drop the crate on his head so that'll be two out of four our third target is going to be the electrocution kill. So our foreman there is still panicking. Um, in your game, he might be even be in a calm state right now and still walking around the construction site. But like I said, because it is an explosion, things can happen quite randomly in terms of the movements and stuff. But we're going to go after this guard next because he's the one that's calm and going back to his normal routine. I'm just going to throw a coin there next to the plug. And then we're going to get over to the force and try and avoid uh, the line of sight of this guy right here. Guy can be a little bit annoying, but as uh, soon as we've uh, turned on the force and he's gone towards the coin, that's the three out of four. Oh, then it comes to the accident kills. So the only person we have left now is the foreman. And the problem for this guy is um, he's got a long routine getting around this construction site. Then he takes a cigarette break next to the, uh, the cement mixer itself. There's also a uh, convenient enforcer standing right next to the cement mixer, which makes things even a little bit more difficult getting over there. Um, because of everyone's random movements, when it comes to people reacting to the the bodies that are around as well as the gun that is that was been left on the floor by the guard, it can get a little bit tricky when it comes to this final target. So it's not just about a, ma uh, a matter of waiting. You need to uh, hope that there's no one watching you while you turn on the cement mixer and trigger all this stuff. Not to mention the target himself as an enforcer himself. See, I really wanted to get behind him right now and try to get around to where the cement mixer is right now. But there's an enforcer right in front of me. So in, in, my, in your game, it might be completely different. Like I said, this guy might even not even be here right now. But uh, ultimately, we need to get over to that wall over there in, in front of us. Just behind the cement mixer. I can't really go that way. So what we're going to do is actually drop a coin, or place a coin rather, right in front of the cement mixer just to delay... Our target because it does take a couple of seconds before the cement mixer actually comes out so that's a bit of an issue so he's going to take a cigarette break there the foreman and that gives us an opportunity to get just to get over here behind the sack of uh, the sack of sand bags or whatever they are now there's an enforcer to our left the foreman is an enforcer himself we want him to see the coin and then stop him in his tracks otherwise you're gonna to have to time it perfectly but we're just going to jump out the window now. And for some reason, he turns around. And I'm not completely sure why he does this. So I have to dip back over the wall and waiting for him to continue his routine. That was kind of strange. But I'm not completely sure why. Especially when this guard to our left as well also did the same thing. But like I said, it takes a couple of seconds for it to turn the cement mixer on. But once we've done it there, we have taken him out. And all we've got to do now is get past this uh, final enforcer just like that. And then we can head straight to the exit. So yeah, the getting that final target is a bit, a little bit annoying, but uh, it all depends on really of everywhere everyone's placement is going to be after everyone's reacted to all the accidents that's gone off. 
but uh, I'm sure you'll be fine when it comes to this and uh, it obviously looks a lot harder than it actually is but it is it does seem a little bit tricky but it's not that bad when it comes to when everyone starts being calm again and everyone's gone back to the normal routines but that's essentially how you do level three and that's all three levels done the, through the escalation I think the explosion accident kill complication ruined the entire escalation I thought they should have done something like with the oil barrel instead or something like that because the explosion just completely panics the entire construction site and it throws a spanner in the works and I'm not a big fan of that but so overall eh, average escalation overall in my opinion but that's how you do all three levels silent assassin but and that's going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below next to the subscribe button and uh thank you for uh, the psycho assassin membership from the shave nico senpai and argel becoming the top tier psycho assassin members of the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video in the next escalation cheers